We surrender! Don't shoot! I'm not with Sentinel. Mad sent me. Oh, thank God. You scared the shit out of me. This guy's scaring me enough as it is. Be rational? Sounds like a fancy way to say give up. You won't be helping anyone if you're full of bullets. I'll make it through. Fellas, what's the situation? Kyle wants to run the blockade. Because apparently he's desperate for a closed casket funeral. My wife Layla needs this insulin, and she's not the only one. They'll die without it. I can get you through. You ready to go home? Mount up. I gotta say, I'm glad you came along when you did. We were at the end of our rope. You just keep your head down if trouble comes, got it? You're military, right? Well, I'm trained to handle things like this if that's what you mean. Right. But what are you doing here? On our island? Blockade up ahead. We never made it past here. Out of the sky. Now, I'm trying to figure it all out. Not much of an answer. You can keep your own counsel. That's fine by me. Hey, it's a little early to start assaulting me, alright? Maybe you remind me of him because you both serve. Hard for me to relate to that type of life, but here you are, saving my ass, saving my wife. So, damn, another one! I just do what needs to be done. It's okay! I'll handle it! Could kiss you for bringing us back safe. Really not necessary. Hmm. <sighs> 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 
You're back? Where are you going with all that? To find you two idiots. What do you think? You were going to go clear the roadblocks on your own? I was going to do whatever it takes. <sighs> I swear, you two are going to put me in an early grave. Who's this tall drink of trouble? This is Nomad. He helped us get home. Thanks for getting them back. I don't know what I'd do without these boys. Or what you and your dad would do without this insulin. Have you thought about making the move to Air One? I've been on this land since my first breath. I don't walk so easy. I can respect that. But Mads thinks this is just the beginning. And those roadblocks, they weren't built to keep people out. They were built to keep people in. What does that mean? It means you should be prepared. For what? Prepared to decide if this homestead is worth your lives. Everything okay? I thought we'd have more time. What happened? Captain Coleman made her move. Earlier than I thought. Earlier than we were prepared for. This is Hector Harris. We found him collapsed in the woods about a mile from Erewhon. Wilderness would have taken him if we hadn't lucked upon him. The homestead Hector lives on got raided. We were just sitting down to eat when I heard your trucks. Mmm, smells good, baby. <laughs> you wanna say grace? Boy. Good evening. You get turned around somewhere? Oh, we're exactly where we need to be. The whole family here? This here's an invitation only dinner. You're gonna make this easy for me. This is my home! Look at it! Dad! Dad! Like I said, very easy. Those two. Deal with him! Leave him alone! Mom! Mom! him! Take care of the others. I just ran. I mean, I left them and ran away. There's no shame in surviving. Don't forget that. I ran when they took my mother, Mads. That's what I won't forget. It's worse than I feared. They're trying to exterminate us. You need to get all the homesteaders back to Air One. The Harris's place is right next to where Kyle and Layla live with Emmett.
Shithead! My eyes! Shit! You're right. They took them. Kyle, Emmett, the others we were with. They threw them in the back of a truck and drove them off. All right, come on. Let's get you to Air One. Layla, good to see you got out in one piece. Where are the boys? Taken. They were taken. We don't know where, but we'll find out. Listen, Mads, they sorted through the people, and they had a list. Took some, left others. Why would they do that? All I know is it's goddamn ominous, to say the least. <laughs> 